The Smittyville cargo restraint system is for those of you that have a 97 to 06 TJ that are looking for a way to keep your gear, maybe even a pet, inside the back of your Jeep when you have the top down. This is going to still give you a lot of that open air driving experience. It's gonna be open on the top and the sides, letting a lot of light and air through, but it is going to help keep things contained within the Jeep. I'm gonna give this installation a one out of three wrenches, less than an hour to get this installed. Now there are gonna be a couple different options out there when it comes to these types of cargo nets. Some of them are going to be more of a nylon webbing style of a net. Some of them will have a metal rivet in the center of them, making them very, very strong. And those are usually going to come in individual pieces that you can get for the top, the back, and the sides of your Jeep. Some come in a kit that include all of those pieces. This is gonna be a little bit different. This is going to be a vinyl style material, almost similar to a factory style top that just has cutouts in it to let the sun and the air through. This is also going to have zippers on the back corner so that you can zip up and roll up that rear window if you need to gain access into the cargo area of your Jeep, and this is all going to be one piece. Another difference here is that a lot of those other nets you can run under a factory soft top or even a factory hard top because they just attach onto the sport cage. This attaches to the sport cage, but it is also going to clip underneath the J channels around the top of the tub just like a soft top would, so you're not going to be able to run a hard top or a soft top with this top installed. Now this is going to be a little bit less expensive than some of the other tops out there. So if you're okay with the fact that this can't be run underneath those other styles of top and you like this look of being a cutout factory top versus a nylon webbing material, then I think this is still going to be a pretty good option. As for construction, like I said, this is pretty much a vinyl soft top material with cutouts. It's going to go over top of the sport cage, connect with plastic pieces to the jade channel around the top of the tub, have a couple of buckles and straps that attach it up onto the sport cage where the sound bar goes, and it does zipper up in the back so that you can easily gain access into the cargo area of your Jeep. This cargo restraint system is going to be right around $100, which is going to be less than a lot of the other options out there. Now, Smittybilt does offer a version two, which is going to be a little bit more of that nylon webbing material that I was talking about, and that's gonna be more expensive, and there are some other brands out there as well that offer those nylon webbing style restraint systems that are going to be a little bit pricier than this. This is going to be a less expensive option. Now, this isn't going to hold the weight that some of those nylon webbing systems will, and like I said, you can't run this underneath of a factory style soft top and hard top. But if those two things don't bother you, this is gonna be a good way to save a little bit of money. I'm gonna give this installation a one out of three wrenches, probably less than an hour to get this installed the first time, and that's having to figure everything out. Once you have it figured out, it'll go on and off easier every time after that. To begin this installation, you'll first need to remove your factory top. The installation of the cargo restraint system requires a tailgate bar and retainers. Now, if you have a factory soft top, you'll already have these. If you have a hard top, you can buy these parts separately. Check out the links below. So since we already have our tailgate bar retainers on, we're gonna get ready to install this restraint system. We'll begin by laying the cargo restraint up and over the rear roll bar. So we're gonna orient these straps at the top, climb up onto the vehicle, and lay it up and over the sides. So now that we have it laid up and over the roll bar, we're gonna begin by attaching these side pieces in this channel. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Get that front edge hooked, and then we'll just work our way back and around the rear corner. So next we're gonna start with the straps up top. We're gonna to go in between the sound bar and around the roll bar. So we're gonna drop our strap through. Then we're gonna go back to our buckle. We're gonna go through the back slot and then in through and down in the front slot. Once you have that in, you can pull it a little tight and then we'll do these side ones. So for the side ones, you have a buckle up top and a strap on the side. You're just gonna go around the roll bar through the buckle and then down back through that front slot and then we'll pull that tight. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So next we're gonna do the straps on the side. Now if you do have a soft top and you have the door surrounds, you wanna go in between the door surrounds and around the roll bar. So we're gonna take this strap, go around the back side, 
And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go through the back slot of the buckle and then through the front. And then we'll pull that a little tight. Same thing goes for this strap up here. We're gonna go around through the back slot and then back through the front and then pull that tight. So now that we have all of our sides on and all of our straps are tight, we're gonna install our tailgate bar. We're simply gonna peel this back edge up and then we're gonna slide this bar onto this plastic sleeve that they have sewn in here. So once we get that even, we're gonna open our tailgate, lock our bar in place, take these edges and go under the tailgate retainers clicking them in place. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So with the tailgate bar in place, you can go around and tighten all the straps up. However, that does wrap up our review and install. Check out more at extremeterrain.com.